What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered about the dodge tool in Affinity Photo on the iPad? Well that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben Nielsen and today we're talking about the dodge tool in Affinity Photo on the iPad. This tool pairs hand in hand with the burn tool that we talked about last time. So if you haven't watched the burn video, make sure that you watch that either before or after watching this one so you can understand how they work together because the dodge tool is essentially the opposite of the burn tool. I talked more in that video about kind of the historical context of these tools, so hopefully you picked that up. But for this one, let's just go ahead, dive in, and see how Dodge works here in Affinity Photo on the iPad. Okay, so here we are in Affinity Photo now, and we're just going to go all the way down back to the little fire where the burn tool is, and we're going to tap on that to open up the submenu, and then we're going to choose the Dodge Brush tool. Now, like I said, the Dodge Brush tool is the functional reverse of the burn tool, where the burn tool is going to make things darker, the Dodge tool is going to make them lighter. So let's go ahead, I will select the Lighthouse picture here in my Layers panel, and then I'm just going to show you the way that this works. Now remember, this is a destructive edit. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit larger. Just increase the opacity so that you can see it better. And watch as I brush this on how this dark area gets lighter. Let me zoom in. And if I undo, you can see it's darker. If I redo that, you can see it's lighter. So as you brush it on, and obviously if we bring the opacity way up, it will be of a much more dramatic effect as you go through there. All right, let me undo that. So obviously this is a destructive edit. If I didn't undo it, it would just stay there on the layer. We wouldn't be able to get rid of it. So of course the option to change that is to actually go ahead and we'll turn on this pixel layer that we burned before. You can see that it's dark. So this is 50% gray layer. And when we burned on it, it just darkened those parts, but we were are able to turn it off because it's a separate layer. We can do the same with the dodge. So if we come in here, say we want to lighten up the area around the lighthouse, we can just go over that multiple times with our dodge tool. You can see it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Now because this is 50% gray, and if we look here, I can show you it's set to overlay. It is just sitting on top of there. A 50% gray layer set to overlay does nothing to the image. But because we then make it the 50% gray darker or lighter by burning or dodging it, that's why we're able to change this. So that is how the dodge brush works. Again, it's just the inverse of the burn tool. It's another destructive element that I don't necessarily recommend you use very much. A common scenario for this is when you might be going in working on a portrait and you might want to whiten up somebody's teeth or brighten up their eyes a little bit. You can often use the dodge tool to just make those little subtle adjustments where maybe it wouldn't be worth it to create like a whole mask and adjustment layer situation where it's just a fairly simple brightening of a small area. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you understand a lot better about how dodge works and why it is there inside of Affinity Photo. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop those in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're really enjoying this video series, go ahead and hit that thanks button. All right, we'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.